In this reading, Jesus is telling the crowd that perhaps they haven't been listening. Jesus is saying that there's a lot going on, but we don't seem to be getting it. John the Baptist, he came and he wasn't what they expected. He lived as a hermit. He barely ate or drank. He looked like a crazy man crying out in the wilderness. I'm sure a lot of people thought he was nuts. Now, Jesus, on the other hand, ate and drank and hung out with tax collectors, prostitutes, and sinners. He hung around with the lowly and the poor, maybe those who needed him the most. Jesus was not what they expected either. They were expecting a Messiah that would be a warrior king, a kingly king, in other words, royalty. But how did Jesus come? He came as a helpless, poor little baby, one of us. Jesus was like us in every way but sin. So when we have doubts, we know that he had doubts. When we have temptation, we know that he had temptation. When we are scared and lonely, we know that he was scared and lonely too. Just think of his agony in the garden. Jesus was just like us. Wow. So what does that say? He came as one of us to show us how to live, how to love. We only have to hold him up as this model. I mean, we'll never get it completely right. But when we try to be more like Christ, when we believe that he is the way, the truth, and the life, when we approach this, we will find joy. How do we know this? I'm only guessing, but I think the number one thing, besides loving that Jesus is prompting us to do, is to be of service to one another, to be there for each other, to find time to help, to heal, to comfort, to hold, to cherish, to feed, to clothe, to visit. In a nutshell, what is the essence of Jesus's message? What could we put up on our walls and live by? What did Jesus say? What was Jesus doing and what is he wanting us to do? Well, Jesus wants us to be happy. In fact, it's actually a lot more than that. He wants us to have the kingdom of heaven itself. He wants us to see God, to be one with God. He wants us to be comforted. He wants us to be satisfied. He wants to show us mercy. He wants us to be known as children of God. Well, how does this happen? It's right there in the Beatitudes, the Sermon on the Mount. We have to be humble. We have to be contrite, sorry when we make mistakes. We have to be gentler. We have to be, we have to hunger and thirst to do the right thing. We have to show mercy to all our brothers and sisters. We have to seek a place and seek a purpose in this world. We have to be people of peace, seeking it at all costs. We have to go out of our way to help the lowly, the poor, and the downtrodden. And we have to do all that for the Lord so that others may come to know him. They will know we are Christians by our love. There it is, right there. That's where we'll find Jesus. That's where we'll recognize him. And that's where we'll find our joy.